Hello everyone, my name is Unreal and uh, Unreal Stug and I welcome you back to Interactive Studios where we showcase the latest and greatest games that are available at your local retailers. Now today's game is Sea of Thieves and we are playing on the Xbox One X and it is in 4K and the HDR. There's some really cool stuff at your local retailers including Sea of Thieves which is available on Game Pass and Ultimate Game Pass as well. And there's also the Xbox One S, it's all digital. Um, uh, console so you can actually purchase it it has no disc like you don't put any discs in it's all digital content that comes with sea of thieves minecraft and it also comes with forza horizon now if you want to have a look at that we've got them in at our favorite retailer so the links in our description if you have any questions about that bundle let me know and i'll, uh, I'll help you answer them and if you have any questions about sea of thieves as well make sure you guys do ask because if you are watching from facebook or from any social media platform and a retailer's website you guys are more than welcome to interact with us here in the studio just like you are on mixer make sure you do say hello and you do give the page a follow as we've got some awesome some stuff coming up for you guys if you want to check out our schedule i will put it up in the chat for you because i am super excited for the schedule that is coming up some really good games and sea of thieves is one of them and we're going to dive straight into the adventure now if you weren't here for the anniversary update it brought a lot of great content to the game and what's awesome about sea of thieves now is that there's a monthly update of content every single month how awesome is that the latest one was the um the black powder stash where you it's the bald rats um the bald rats group hey fury i'm really good i'm really good how are you today great to have you in the stream as always and yeah so basically the game is just constantly giving us feedback uh not feedback sorry content every single month which i think is a great way to keep us interested and just to have fun i mean that is so awesome but the anniversary update was the latest like biggest update that brought us the arena brought us new taught like adventure aspects like tall tales where you follow like a story um throughout the sea of thieves world it's incredible and also the hunters call trading company um lots of new things it's crazy we're gonna we're gonna jump into it if you want you can always check out the what's new tab here so if we go into it you can see duke wants you to steal gunpowder from the skellies sell them to on any like sell them on outposts to any of the trading companies um, and make your profile your profits boom which is which is true your pockets will get full thanks fury that's good to hear so yeah we're going to jump into an adventure now i'm playing by myself alone so i'm going sloop if you have a group of friends jump on the galleon it's such a massive ship i actually jumped into the arena not long ago and i saw how big it was i never realized how big it is compared to the sloop and like four people is not enough to manage that ship but it's definitely um, a good experience so jump on it you can um join an open crew so you play with other people or you can play with closed crew so like your friends or play alone which is what we're going to do in the closed crew the sloop is manageable by one person you can have two which will give you an upper hand because you can have one person sailing and one person managing the cannons and we're gonna set sail all right yeah i know a lot of the gunpowder barrel um missions that you will get from duke will involve you to tiptoe around forts uh, a lot of the forts will have them so you're gonna engage in combat which will be i think really interesting to see another thing that they've added as well is that there's a lot more gems um on like the sea, not the seabed, or oh, yeah, seabed, you find a lot more mermaids, or you also find gems scattered along the sand on the beaches, so it's really good to just, you know, scout out the island, before you leave it, you never know what you'll find, but they have added a lot more, which is really good, because, you know, that's going to help us fill our pockets up. <laughs> With Sea of Thieves, you're not really 
there's no main end goal um, it's just you progressing through your pirate status so whether you you are already have pirate legend or not you're still always gonna you know want to do missions voyages um, to, to you know to get rewards fill your pockets up and just go shopping and you know buy some cosmetics for your pirate to stand out which really does create a more personalized experience which I think is great I love a game an adventure game an open world game where you still have a personalized experience you know through customization and, and pretty much choice Choices, which this game like, has so many different choices for you to choose from you pretty much do whatever you want if you want to be a bad pirate a good pirate if you want to be a friendly pirate like be would do whatever pirate business you want to you know it's crazy I love how the game enables you to do that and we can fish I love fishing we're gonna fish for sure today all right so you would come to Dookie and you could uh, pick up Adventure. some voyages. You do need to use Dublons, uh, but I don't have any. Don't have any. Alright. Oh, we're on a nice and sunny outpost. But I can see the storm. Every time I come on, I'm always um, getting caught in a storm. <laughs> Just my luck. Okay, where is my ship? It's over there. Now, let's check out if I have any voyages. I have two. So, doing voyages will increase uh, your reputation for, for that specific trading company. Oh, it's a little island. Thanks, Fury. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, if you want to pick three of them and uh, work your way towards level 50 for each in order to get legendary pirate status. I'm excited to get there. I mean, if you look at my reputation, you can see uh, my hunter's core is only on level one. I haven't done anything for that. But my sea dogs, I'm on level eight. Your gold hoarder 16, order of souls 18, and merchant alliance 14. I don't really do a lot of voyages for the merchant alliance. If anything, I'll come across some stock that I have to deliver to an outpost, uh, and that helps me level up, or I'll go sell them things. Whereas order of the souls, I love doing order of the souls. I love fighting skeletons. It's so fun. I absolutely love it. It's like the best thing in this game. It's very entertaining. I mean, you'll be fighting a skeleton. They do these like evil laughs. They'll eat a banana to refuel their health. It's just, it's great. Great fun. Gold hoarders, treasure hunting. I mean, who doesn't love treasure hunting? The tall tales. Now, let's have a look. So, I have completed two of the tall tales. I, uh, by completing the cursed rogue, I was able to unlock three, four, five, and six. So now I get to choose um, any one of these. You do have to find them on Outpost though. And I'm not too I don't think it tells you where to find it. I actually was lucky enough to have DJ tell me where to find the Cursed Rogue. Uh, but I'm sure if I have a look, I can find these. I think like the Wild Rose was on an Outpost. Oh, I can't remember which Outpost. But yeah, uh, the Tall Tales came with the Anniversary Update. And they're pretty much just uh, story-driven tales story driven adventures for you to go on and they're quite challenging i mean i struggled a lot with the shroud breaker uh every time i'd get the the totem the meg would once the meg would attack me and, and sink my ship and then the totem was lost i had to go back and get it but yeah they're quite they're a good challenge and uh you're gonna love them the stories are great they're entertaining the cursed road we got to fight uh the skeleton lord i can't remember her name but she was she was very feisty she was very feisty it was a great battle you can see I've got these ones now. Briggsy. Oh, it was Captain Briggsy. That's right. So Briggsy once told stories of a legend. Do childhood dreams lead to the peace of the Shroud Breaker? So what we're doing is I think we're completing all of these. Um, we're putting in all this information together. We're getting bits and pieces from all these different tales uh, to find the shores of gold. Which uh, would be so interesting to see. Maybe I will get there. We definitely will get there. It will take a little time though. So the Shroud Breaker um, is at any, I think, every outpost next to the Mysterious Stranger. And if you go 
talk to the Order of the Souls lady. She might have one there for you as well. Yep, she's... Is that my ship? There she is. What a beauty. Now, as I mentioned, you can purchase cosmetics for your ship. Make it stand out. And there it is. There she is. Oh, there's none here. Okay. We'll just visit other outposts and uh, and go and have a look and see if we can find another voyage. I love the, the gold hoarder guy. He's funny. Okay, so all I could really afford was a royal blue sail. And I couldn't really afford anything else. Hello? If we browse her stock, uh oh I got forty almost forty two thousand coins. Wow. But you can see it's um, you know, purchasing cosmetics for your ship is quite expensive. So we do need to keep collecting gold so I can splurge and uh, have my ship stand out and I didn't make it. Spim up. So this is my sloop. My sloop's name is Rose. I named it and everything. So we're on Golden Sands Outpost. Now, I think the next outpost is Sanctuary Outpost. There's one over here as well. Plunder outpost. It's quite a few outposts. Let's have a look what voyage I should propose. So if you are in a crew, you all have the opportunity to vote for the voyage. But I'm by myself, so I don't have anyone opposing my vote, <laughs> which is good. If we have a... Oh, we got two maps. Oh, this island looks very familiar. So let's try and find the island. I hope it's nearby. Was it is it is that it? No, it looks like it's like a question mark. Oh, there we go. Twin Groves. Oh, I feel like that's quite far away. Oh, no, it's not. It's right around the corner. So it looks like we're going uh, southeast. I really hope it's not in the storm. We have a riddle. Plunder Valley has riches vast from forgotten stories in the past. Plunder Valley. Where, where is Plunder Valley? Oh, it's heavy. So I'm going to mark that as well. So I think once we go... Twin Groves will head down to Plunder Valley. I really hope we're not sailing into this storm. Now, before I go, I like to make sure I have food on me. So you always need to have eight bananas to start off with. Uh, if you go to the outpost, you will always find stuff in the barrels. You gotta, you gotta make that jump first. We got some wood. Now, knowing my sailing history, I'm going to want a lot more wood. Shall I climb into cannon? Oh! We, <laughs> we didn't even make it on land! That was too funny. So I want to see what else 
are in some of the barrels. I should probably start sailing now because I can see that storm. That's just come right in. I'm a nice. I'm always a nice pirate, Fury. Hopefully, I come across other nice pirates. But let's disregard that one time I tried to blow up someone else's ship. Because that backfired so bad. Oh, there's some barrels here. Alright, now we're going to go. Of course. That was a... How could I not remember that? I tried to blow up the ship and I'm like, oh, I got scared. I'm like, you know, I'll just leave it. We did a bit of damage and then next thing I know, I was getting hunted by those pirates. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Alright, so I said we're standing southeast. I'm going to turn my lights off. I want to be as invisible as possible. You don't know who you're going to come across on the sea. And that's what uh, Sea of Thieves, like that, you know, that mystery of you. Oh, is the pirate going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Are they going to attack me? Are they going to say hi? You never know. That's the mystery. It's been a while since I've sailed the open seas. I'm really excited today, guys. It's been a very long time. Imagine, Fury. I'd be, pr I'd be pretty upset if you tried to sink my ship. I've only ever come across one pirate that didn't attack us. I think they, they were doing a tall tales like I was. Actually, no, it wasn't a Tall Tales. They were doing uh, one of the Black Powder runs for Duke. That's what they were doing. Um, and yeah, they didn't attack us. They climbed aboard our ship and they were looking for something. And no! Oh, I just started. Oh, no. I, ju I just started. I was just saying how excited I was to sail the ocean. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, this is, um, this has been fun, guys. I can't see. I can't see. Don't know if my ship is sinking. Do I not have cannonballs? Oh, it doesn't matter, my... Oh, okay. Well, that lasted very long. No, I don't want to go underwater. No. Oh, this is so scary. I, I, I think I'm drowning. Yeah, I'm drowning. And I'm going to die. Oh, I, I would have preferred to have died. Where's my ship? What's there? <laughs> hey Asha, how are you going today? No, not my ship! No, I literally just named it! Take that! Take that! Uh, 
Uh, but it's sinking. Well. Okay, I'm just gonna swim. I just like, I just left the, the outpost. And that's the first thing that we came across. The Kraken. You know, I feel like the Kraken's been waiting. It's been waiting for me. I mean, how many times have I played and I've only ever encountered the Kraken twice? It was waiting for me. I just filled the barrels up with food as well. <laughs> I know, what a great and interesting start. As soon as I saw the waters turn dark, I was like, no. Uh-oh. I don't even want to look back. Like one of my fears is, you know, something chasing me in the water. Or just being chased. So if I turn back and then like there's a Meg or the Kraken's, you know, trying to get me. Yeah. I'm not going there. Uh, looks like I have to. Out of all times, why? Why now? It was really dark, so it was hard to see as well. I'd like to fight the Kraken, you know, in actual daylight, even though the waters do turn dark. That was really scary. <laughs> Well, that's Sea of Thieves for you. You never know what to expect. And that's what I love about the game. I like that aspect to it. Okay, we're on an island. We need to eat, though. <gasps> hey, the Kraken's still there. Look. It's still there. I could go back and get it. Do you know what? I might try. Could I do that? Let's go. Let's try that. And shoot it from a distance. I mean, you never know. Still there. Oh, please don't move. Please stay. You know, that's what we're going to do. We're going to fight it from a distance. Oh, would you look at that beautiful sunrise. Stay there, Kraken. I'm coming. Maybe this is meant to happen. Maybe this is the way I'm going to defeat the Kraken once and for all. It's still there. Oh, is it? No, it's still there. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's still there. It's still there, guys. I'm really excited. I hope I can defeat it. Yeah, see, it's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> oh, this is... This is great. Okay, so... We started sailing. The Kraken appeared straight away. Ate me. Well, it didn't eat me, actually. It ate my ship. Uh, and then... I got a new ship. Like nothing happened. And it, the Kraken is still there. Now, if I stay away from its dark, contaminated waters... Will I be able to kill it? We're going to find out. We are going to find out. We'll stay... We'll stay within the, the waters of the, uh, the outpost. Oh, 
Oh, really? Oh, man. I really thought I was going to get it. It got scared. It knew I was coming back for revenge. Oh, well. Next time. Next time we'll get it. Kraken's gone to harass someone else now. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. Okay. We are sailing in the right direction. Now I'm going to actually load the cannons. We're going to be prepared for the next encounter. Almost there. We've got three treasures to pick up. Interesting. I see it. I absolutely love the seas. You know, when it's nice and peaceful and calm. It's such a beautiful thing to see. You really get to appreciate it. You know, this is not something you can do every day. Like, go out on a ship and just sail. Especially on, like, beautiful, like, beautiful weather conditions like this. So, yeah, you do get to experience it in a game, which I love. Okay, Twin Graves is there. Very small island. Oh, I see a sloop. Looks like they're on this island. Hello, look what I see. Let's change our weapon up. All right, we missed. Can 
Can we get it now? Oh, we just missed it as well. We're aiming too high. Oh no, we missed again. Oh yes, take that. All right, now we can go back to our other weapon. You want to take them out first before you step foot on the island. Because those deal some serious damage. Oh, look, the sloop's coming this way. Okay. Now, what you can do is you can actually put these little flags up. And it, it can kind of uh, indicate to other players what your intentions are. Oh, no. Oh, we almost fell. <laughs> that happens so many times. So we're going to come up. And we're going to put it on here. Oh. We've got where is it? This one. We came here to a party. Now is there two ships? No. Now do they want to be friends? I don't know. I don't see the pirate. Hmm. I don't know if they're going to want to be friends or not. Okay, so there's one over there, and there's some treasure down here, and there's some skeletons! Are they shooting my ship? Oh no, there's two. Oh, are you serious? Okay. Why? How come everything's ha oh. How come everything's happening to us? Do you know what? I thought they were firing cannons, but clearly they must have uh, fight like put themselves in in the cannon and shot themselves out. That's what's happened. And now we're on the Ferry of the Damned, our second home. <laughs> it seems to be our second home. Come on, quick, quick. Uh, they're probably like trying to sink our ship as well. Take my treasure. The seafarer's chest are not really worth that much, but you know, it's still gold. Gold that I need. Gold that you want. Yeah, I hear him. Yeah, they attacked me. Oh, no. This is so unfair. Oh, this is so unfair. I'm going to go take their ship, see how they like it. No, I should have I should have had something to eat. They're probably just gonna keep killing me over and over again. But we've got to stop it from happening. So as I mentioned before, you can encounter some pirates and you don't know whether they're gonna be your friend or not. Clearly these ones don't want to be my friend.
right, we're going back to the land of the living. I hear him. I hear you. I hear you. What have they done? <gasps> no! This is so unfair. I'm just an innocent pirate. That's all I am. I'm friendly. Like my flag says, I just want to party. <laughs> oh, this is unfair. But that's the game for you. you. Like I said, you never know what to expect. I mean, we had the Kraken. Then we lost the Kraken. And now we've got two pirates who just don't want to leave us alone. I mean, we could chill out here with our friend. What's his name? Oh, I lost it. I had it. The fairy man. Oh, I hear him. Didn't they? I think they sank my ship. Where's their ship? Oh, someone's sailing it. Get underwater. Okay, so we've got someone on my ship and someone on the other ship. What do I do? I just want my ship back. Oh, no. Okay, where's the ladder? No! Oh, this is great. They've hijacked my ship. Hey, she let us. How are you going today? Oh, if you look at that, I can actually get my ship back. Thankfully. Did they take my treasure as well? Looks like they did. Well, I'm just going to get a new ship. Okay, we get a new ship. Hopefully it's on a different island. Oh no, it's not. Finally! The dead! Okay. Okay, they're dead. 
Okay, now I have to do damage. Um, now I've got to try and fix my ship. You know what? Oh, I can't even reach it. Okay. Let's raise this income. Let's get out of here. No, I'm not I'm not in any position to attack them. I feel like I could be now. Why? Just leave me alone. Got him. But my ship is most likely going to sink. Yep. Yep, there goes my ship. Okay, we've got a few more other holes. I feel like my ship's just turning. I need to get on up the top. Thanks. Oh, look at all the holes. Okay, I think that's it for holes. Okay. Alright. I don't know where we're heading though. Let's just go away. My wheel? Oh yes, okay, I've just seen that. Thank you. I didn't even notice Fury, thank you. You know what, at least my ship has character to it now. I'm being tailed though. I don't even know where I'm going. It's battle tested. Okay, looks like I'm heading... Is there... There's Plunder Outpost. Is there an outpost I can be nearby? There's Dagger Tooth Outpost. That's further up. I might try Dagger Tooth Outpost. Now, I don't know if they're still following.
Is that the Meg? This, there was like, there's like a fin sticking out of the water. I think that was the Meg. No, okay, it's a sunken ship. Try. I'm going to try to lose him in heat. If I ram into them, finally take that. We did some damage. I just want to be left alone. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh, turn, 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 turn. No. No. Ow. Well. That hurt. Oh, great. Do you know what? I'm done with this ship. Well, would you look at that? Look, I can, I can stay here forever. I've got, you know, nice comfy chairs, a nice photo. Oh, goodbye, Sloop. I've got some barrels with some food in it, like I could survive off. We're all good. They're sailing away. They're probably like, you know what, we'll leave her alone now. Is it sinking? It's sinking. Oh, goodbye. And it's gone. It's gone. Well, would you look at that? Oh, there's the flag. Now we just wait for the mermaid to appear so we can actually get another brand new sloop. There she is. See if we can take any food. <laughs> oh, 
I tried. Thanks, I tried. I didn't want them to be the ones to sink my ship. You know, it was going to be on my terms. That's why I did that. And hopefully, this merman takes us somewhere far, far away from them. Ooh, where are we? Oh, it's a red one. That's near. I don't think I'll be able to defeat that on my own. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, you'll find on a lot of the, um, the beaches a lot more of those mermaids or even just gems on their own. So have a look. Make sure you guys are checking out all like the beaches of every island that you visit. Scout it out. You never know what you'll find. Alright, I don't see a sloop. We might actually be clear of them. <laughs> I sure hope we are. Well, we're on lookout point. I know we need to go to Plunder Valley. We'll go to Plunder Valley. So where they were, they were somewhere over here. We started, uh, where were we? Twin Groves, I think we sailed over here somewhere. So hopefully they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Alright, let's check out where we're supposed to go. So we're kind of going uh, northwest. Thanks, Fury. So let's let's talk about what's happened. <laughs> we had the Kraken you know, approach us not even two minutes into sailing away from the outpost. Then we had two pirates, not so friendly pirates, chase and attack us. So it's been a crazy hour. Oh wow, I didn't know you could do that. That is so awesome. Get a bit of shade. <laughs> yeah, it's just been a crazy, crazy day. It's only been an hour. What's next? I mean, the Meg. I it wouldn't surprise me.
So I see Plunder Valley up ahead. I think that's it over there. That really big island. Keeping my eye out for any possible threats. <laughs> Thanks, Fury. You're right. You are right. You are right. Hey, regardless, I've had a fun fun hour that I've been here. It's been good. It's like, no matter what happens, you know, it's always a funny experience with Sea of Thieves. Whether I do get chased down by other pirates or the Meg, it's always a funny experience. Okay, I see Plunder Valley. Now, I have a feeling we're going to have skeletons attack us with the cannons. But I guess we'll find out once we approach the actual island. Almost there. What a joyride. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Let's find somewhere to dock. Yay, we made it in one piece. Actually. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. There's the, um, the sunken ship over there. Oh, we'll just stick to this side. Turn, 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 turn. We're gonna hit a rock. Just quickly, I'm gonna have to raid. Put this down. Drop it. Before we hit that rock. Ooh. Wow, we were close. We didn't hit? We didn't hit it! Okay. So let's read this riddle. Plunder Valley has riches vast from forgotten stories in the past. Well, we can put heaps of fruit in here. The mark of the blood red hands on the north coast holds secrets untold. A, a nine paces east, dig a fine hole. Okay. So, what, what side? The north coast. So, if we... Let's check out our compass. The north coast is... Is here. So, well, I think we're looking for a blood hand. A blood red hand on the north coast. Okay, so let's look for a blood 
Or red handprint, pretty much, is what we're looking for. Okay, he wouldn't be here. I'd be... Somewhere up. Oh wow, that scared me. <laughs> Just popped out of nowhere. Gotta love those skeletons. Oh. What? You can actually talk to a skeleton bird? <laughs> Am I disturbing you? Not really. I suppose I'm just a little tired from all the flapping all the way here. It wouldn't be as... Oh. Nah. What brings you out here? Truth be told, I was getting a little too recognisable at my last roosting spot. <laughs> That was where I had rather terrifying running with a rogue known as Briggsy. Oh, we know. We know all about Briggsy. Come back anytime. We have a tall tail. I am so excited. We found one. Let's accept it. The art of the trickster. Polly got a bargain. Polly got a bargain. Greedy traps for treasure and tombs. Guaranteed. Squat! Uh, what's the use? No one wants to buy from a talking parrot. Looks like it's back to the stale bird seed for me. <laughs> Truth be told, no one's seen the trap maker in ages. I did find these notes she left behind, though. Seems to me she was put to work designing traps for old Briggsy herself. Looks like she left a trail to follow that leads all the way to Briggsy's stash. Maybe you can use them to track it down. Squat, just watch your step. The trap maker has a, a very particular sense of humor. Um, maybe this is the best thing ever. The parrot her, yeah? is talking to That's us. Partly his fault. She was kidnapped uh, or anything. Its accent is the best Squawk. thing. Squawk. Bye for now. Guys, that's awesome. That is so cool. Like, I love how they have variety. Like, you know, the last two tall tales we found were from people on an outpost, whereas we actually got it from a talking parrot. Oh, it, like, did a bow. Oh, wow. Okay. So, now this is the trap maker. Yeah. The famed teller of stories, now herself tangled in a tale of woe. Through my art, I'll take my revenge. I'll carve my treachery with wood and harden my hate into iron as I build a cage for her shining stone. This stone has pierced too many hearts and stained souls with greed. So why do you seek it? If only you could see these seas as I do. Perhaps now only rum can open your eyes to the truth and show you the path forwards. Seek the cave of bones on Plunder Valley. Oh, it's right here. We're on Plunder Valley. Seek the cave of bones. Deep it lies near bird of stone. Stories told in lifeless bone. So we're looking for it like a, a bird. The forsaken captain points to fire and ash. Hand in hand, two lovers face their destiny. The rum runner laid her drink to test to rest. The thief hides behind her mask of gold. Okay, is that ship okay? Yeah. So we're looking for a cave. And I'm gonna have this pig. Okay, we got it. We're gonna cook some. Oh, our inventory is full. Okay. Well, we know that there's a fruit crate.
And I'm actually going to hide it. I'll put it next to the parrot. You can watch this for me. Oh, actual human contact. Okay, now where's the pork? We're going to need it. We're going to cook it. Now, having like the like the opportunity to cook food came with the Hunter's Call, which was the um, anniversary update, which is super cool. So what you can do is you can uh, kill and hunt animals, cook the food, and that can uh, either you know fill your vitality bar up, or it can actually uh, fill up the like the um, the refill vitality part. So if you have a look, oh, it's not there. But where your health bar is, the little skeleton circle around it, if you consume food like meat, um, like fish, it will fill it up. So when you do cop damage, it will refill it for you. Which I think is awesome. I think you're going to need that, especially when you're fighting skeletons. So we got to... Oh, oh, that's right. We don't want to let it burn. I completely forgot. <laughs> don't let it burn. Is it cooked? It looks pretty cooked to me. We've got some pork. We might actually eat it. You can see it re it fills up. Alright, so we're looking for a cave. What was it? A... Seek the cave of bones. Oh, which, look at that. Not today, buddy. But there's another one with a sword. <laughs> so I'm going to scale this island. And go up this way. We found the cave. So, oh. So many chickens. What are the chickens doing? So let's read it again. Uh, deep it lies near bird of stone. Stories told in lifeless bone. The forsaken captain points to fire and ash, hand in hand, two lovers face their destiny. Okay, this is not it. So we're looking for a stone that is shaped like a parrot. Why is there so many chickens in here? Wait, how do we get out? We're trapped. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not trapped. Was that not the cave? No, it looks like it ends here. Yeah, okay, so it must be somewhere else. Another piggy. 
Oh, there's another mermaid. See, it's a red one though. The red is the, uh, I think, the most difficult one to destroy. But I also see something shining over here. Is there another one? Oh, there's a blue one. I think blue is the easiest. Then it's green. Look, I'm going to come back to it after I do the this mission. So the clue is um, perhaps now only rum can open your eyes to the truth and uh, seek the cable of bones and the blades. That's the first thing that we're looking for. Then deep it lies knee bird of stone. Stories told in lifeless bone. Oh, this could be it. Very eerie and mysterious. Oh, there's two paths. All right, there's lots of food in there. Oh, okay. Do we see a parrot? Do we see a bird stone? No, but there's someone pointing in there. I remember we came here for the, the clue, I think, for Briggsy. Are they lovers? Oh, there. I was like, where is his skeleton? Is it just one? Okay, it looks like it was just one. So it's pointing to like two lovers potentially. Uh, what was the other clue? No, hand in hand, two lovers face their destiny. Yeah, they're the ones with the red eyes. That's what they look like. Yeah, that's them. So dark. Oh. The thief hides behind her mask of gold. I love how you can move the skeleton arms. Is it like a mask of gold somewhere? Surely it's here. What are you holding? Oh! That's the thief! That's the thief! That's the mask of gold, look! So what happens now? Oh, okay, she laid her drink. Okay, I understand now what we have to do. So if you actually have a look at the riddle, okay, oh, it's not really a riddle, I don't know what you would call it, but you can see, um, okay, the Forsaken Captain points to fire and ash. So you need to move the arms. So if you see over there, there's fire and ash. So let's move the arm. Yep, okay. Then it's the two lovers holding hands. They're holding hands, yes. Okay, then it goes. The rum runner laid her drink to rest. Which I'm sure is what I did. Then. The thief hides behind her mask of gold. 
Maybe that's not pointing to the right thing. Oh, and okay, it's not pointing to the right one. Now it is. <gasps> yes! Something's happening! I don't know what it is, though. Oh! Oh, that was a bit creepy. Okay. Pages added to Tall Tale. We did it! But now we've got a lot more to do. The Art of the Trickster. Yeah, okay, let's, let's check out the Tall Tale. Okay, so let's skip to the next page. Now you hold my special spyglass. A test to see if you can be trusted with the stone I keep. On Plunder Valley, seek my treacherous mark. Stand in... Okay, that's the treacherous mark that we're looking for. Stand in place and drink in the view. Stone's location spoken to you. Wood and iron may be the tools to save my soul from greedy fools. Ooh. Okay. Wait, I'm a little confused. So what wood and iron may be the tools to save my soul from greedy fools. Wood and iron, is that a sword? Um, on Plunder Valley, seek my treacherous mark, stand in place and drink in the view. Okay, so it must be high up because if she's speaking about a view. So let's just go scale the island and have a look. Oh, what's that? Even while being forced to work against my will and don't think I don't know which bird brain is responsible. I still have my pride and the greatest trap maker of CFDs I've ever seen. I must devise something brilliant to protect an equally brilliant treasure. How then shall I prove the effectiveness of my creation? Why? By using a few greedy groggled, groggled gold diggers as guinea pigs. I shall begin my experiments upon Discovery Ridge. A few barrels packed with goo should entice pirates into my game. Okay. Oh, where are these pirates? Oh, they're there. Oh, we've got them both. <gasps> Is there one behind me? Oh. No. Alright. Now, let's get out of here. Oh, phew. Daylight. Okay, so we're looking for that mark, the treacherous mark. So I think I'm going to try and climb and go further up. But maybe I should get this mermaid. Go, go, attack it. We got it. So blue is the easiest and you have green and then red. I don't think you can actually destroy a red one on your own. Piggy running. So while I'm going back to my ship, I'm just going to keep an eye out for that pirate's mark. I think it's further up though because it, it was talking about a view. And the best views are from higher up. You see more. My ship's still standing. Okay. 
Now, how do we get up there? Check the map on your ship usually helps. I'm just going to try and get up the top though. Because it's on the same island. Oh, I never thought of that fury. Yeah, that will that will get rid of... That will definitely destroy the red mermaids. I never actually thought of that. That's a really good idea. Oh, that's a good idea, wise. Do you know what? I'm going to take your word for that. I'm going to do it. I didn't even think. Yeah, because there is that, that photo there. Oh, okay. Now that it's... A, <laughs> now that it's not so dark i can actually see what that was i thought maybe i didn't know what it was but yeah you can see the mark is on the map so we should be able to compare them as uh, wise said and ouch that hurt I've seen two on the island so far. There's two. Okay. Is that it? Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, I see it. Do I? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. The rocks offshore. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're currently... Let's get rid of that marker. So we're on the other side. So we just have to go west. So it's west to the island. Oh, here. Yep, so... Actually, it's here. It's there. It's there. So, we're there. We just have to go, yeah, west-ish. Maybe. I feel like this might help us. <laughs> Let's try it. Uh, not really. Oh! How amazing is that? We found it. I did not expect that. Like, it happened so quickly. So she said have a drink. Um, so seek my treacherous mark. Stand in place and drink in the view. Stone's location spoken to you. Oh, what? Oh, I see you. Come and get me. I love when they do this evil laugh here and they go to eat a banana. Can you just die? Finally. Oh, it's starting to rain. Now, I'm not too sure what's supposed to happen here. I'm 
soaking the view. Is this even the right spot? Could there be another marker? Am I supposed to have a drink? Maybe we can test it out. <laughs> Oh no, look at that. Oh, okay, it's shining. It's a sign. Looks like I need to be higher up. But the mark was there on the ground. Oh no, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, I'm just trying to piece all these pieces together. So that looks like... So maybe further up. The mark was on the floor though. Maybe there's multiple spots to like kind of test you. See, I'm trying to spot the rocks. Oh, there's something shining over there. Okay, so that. That has to be that. Yeah, they're the three. Which means. Okay, lightning wants to strike. No! I heard them. Yeah, it was, it was. But that, it, 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 it like, striked twice. So, I, I, the marking, the mark was on that rock before.
I was certain I was on the right one before. Is it indicating to me that it's on top of his rocks? Lightning just uh, striked you. The mark was actually on that rock. Let's go back to it. Here. Light up. Uh, maybe not anymore. <laughs> yeah, like we're on the spot. Look, the mark's here. That's what I'm confused about. But I'm pretty sure. Oop, go back to that. But where that marking is, is where. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I've kind of figured it out. It needs to stop raining. I need to go up there. How do I go up there? Let's figure it out. Can we climb? No. I need to get up there. very hard to see when it's raining like this so this looks like all those rocks okay so this is like the sand patch which is at the bottom there there's like here somewhere What's the view that we're soaking in? Oh, I'm so confused. I'm trying to figure this out, but I don't know what. We found, the thing is, we found the treacherous mark, the treacherous mark, on another rock, but it looks like it's supposed to be here. If I follow this, so like this rock here, is the rock on the end? Well, 
this is harder than I thought. Yeah. Okay. So if I follow this up. Okay, stop here. I'm on the end of the rock. I'm gonna have to kind of like follow it like this. Then I've come across some more rocks. Ah, oh, I see it. Is that it? Oh, lightning. Lovely. I think I see it over there. Wait, where am I looking? Up. Oh. There it is. That has to be it. Okay, I think I found it. That looks like it's it. Okay, so now, how do I get there? That's the question. How do I get up the top there? Doesn't look like from this side, maybe the other side. But see, there's two marks. There's the mark that... Oh, there's another one here. There's so many marks. Maybe this is it. But what view am I, am I drinking in? Drink grog. That's what I did on the other one. <laughs> okay, we've done that. It was a very big drink. Don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> Two marks on the rocks below. Do we know oh, lightning? Give me a break. We know that there's um there's that one there as well. There's a mark on the ground over there. I don't know what we're supposed to be finding. Plunder Valley, seek my treacherous mark. Stand in place and drink in the view. Stone's location, speak to you. Okay, there's one on the other side. I'm going to try my luck there. Oh, whoa, don't want to fall off. Because look, there's also a mark here. Which is originally where I thought it was. Do you think that could be it? 
Let me try. I saw the two pictures as the parrot. It says, wood and iron may be the tools to save my soul from greedy fools. Let's try and get on the other side. I hope my ship's okay in this weather. <laughs> We've completely disregarded it. Just forgot about it. Oh, there's another one. Whoa, I didn't see. Oh, there's another one. See, when they do their evil laugh, they're eating a banana. They're trying to refuel themselves. No banana for you. Yeah, dead. Is there a way for us to go up? Whoa! <laughs> that was close. Oh, I think it's one up. I know it does. It makes me laugh as well. I love it. I know. Lightning hit me. I think it was nearby. Um. Excuse me. Are they skeletons? You naughty, naughty skeleton. How could you? <gasps> Well. Well. That um. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah. Rip. Rip. Hmm. Well, luckily I can live off the island. There's plenty to eat. There's an ammo chest somewhere lying around, so, you know, it's not like I'm defenseless. I'm gonna get those skeletons back. How could they? <laughs> oh, you know, at the end of the day, they make me laugh. You know that the skeletons were only added in the second update of Sea of Thieves? How crazy is that? They weren't even there originally. Okay, I feel like we're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. Let's have a banana. Some chickens. Okay. There's always chickens everywhere. Pirates. See, there's that mark there, and there's a, uh, the marks under here. Whoa. Pick up chicken cube. Hey, that's wooden iron. Please be the right one. I mean, I don't think it's the right spot. I think it has to be the one over there. I 
thought maybe it was the ocean or something, but I guess not. Because it does state, uh, stone's location spoken to you. You guys can't leave me alone for five minutes. That's alright. There's only one? Yeah. This is really eating at me. I need to figure it out. Look below with glass. Look at butterfly. So I'm guessing we're trying to place something in between the, the spyglass. And then wherever that X marks, that's where we have to dig up. This is quite challenging, actually. Because look, where's the spot? I've lost the spot already. Did I, did I fall? No, it's here. So it's somewhere from this view. From one of these views um, on the markings. I don't think it's this one. I'm going to try. And we're falling. And yeah, we're falling everywhere. <laughs> we found some grubs. Yummo. grubs hey I hear something we must be close well the caves just over there some more grubs I get excited when I see something coming through and then it's a grub maybe he somewhere Hmm. I don't know. This is so challenging. Alright, now before I continue, I am just going to quickly step away for a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you guys check out your local and favorite retailers. I see if Thieves is available and it also it's also available on Game Pass and Ultimate Game Pass, which you guys will love. So check it out. We've got links in our description um, of our favorite retailers where you can find Sea of Thieves. We have been playing on the Xbox One S in HDR 4K. My name's Unreal Talk and I will be back. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that um, when I come back, Fury, and we'll see. Hopefully, we can find it. But yeah, uh, don't go anywhere. I will be back.
How are we, folks? How are we? Good morning. Welcome to Interactive Studios, where we showcase the latest and greatest games. I'm your host, DJ Beavis, and today we're going to continue our showcase of Sea of Thieves. But before we do that, we have something special for you guys this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch to a full screen here. Full screen. And uh, we're actually going to show off the all-new... Xbox One S all digital console. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to unbox this for you today uh, on stream, which is pretty awesome. So it includes three digital games, which includes Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, and Forza Horizon 3, which is pretty nice. So uh, definitely do check your favorite retailers for that. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, open this up. Hello, uh, Albert Einstein. How are you? Arcane, Arcana Force. How are you? All right, so let's have a look and see what we get inside the box, guys. Let's have a look. Ooh. So, we have a uh, piece of cardboard. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, pull this guy out of the box here. All right. This actually looks really, really nice. It's very light as well, too, which is really cool. So let's open this up here. Let's try not to wreck the wrapping too much. Morning, Kanan. How are you, buddy? It's good to have you here. All right, so we're just going to open this up for you guys. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is pretty awesome. So as you can see here, there's no disk drive, which is pretty interesting. So you've got all your ports on the back there which is pretty cool. So you've got all your standard ports. So your HDMI, USB, in out, your uh, SBDIF and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So you've got uh, your front sensor as well too, which is cool. Your power button. Look at that. How nice is that? It's really, really cool. Really like that. Um, so you basically, you get the, the console there. And then you also get... You also get HDMI cable, power adapter, and power cable. Then you also get this awesome Y controller. <laughs> Xmas got early, yep, sure did. <laughs> How awesome is this though? Look, so that there's the uh, there's the Y controller. How awesome is that? That is really really nice, and the and the um, awesome texture grips as well too it's really nice controller um, so that's included as well get some batteries what else we got here all right so it looks like we have ourselves oh awesome here we go all right so you also, it also includes, it also includes your product and regularity guide, Forza Horizon 3, Sea of Thieves, Minecraft, it also includes, um, It also includes a trial for uh, Game Pass and also some um, Xbox Live Gold as well too. So you get a one month code for Xbox Live Gold um, and um, it also includes a trial for uh, Game Pass by the looks of it, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, so that's that's all that that's included, which is pretty cool. So the console itself, so, so it plays the latest and greatest games. Um, so it's, uh, it, you can experience Dolby Atmos and also uh, DTS uh, X-Audio. Um, it works with all your Xbox One accessories, so you don't have to buy any other accessories um, if you've already got an Xbox One console. Um, but you can, uh, you can also pre-install new digital games if you pre-order as well too. Um, and with Game Pass as well too, you've got access to over 100 games, uh, which is pretty cool. Ultimate Game Pass will give you Xbox Live included, uh, which is really, really cool. And um, so, but uh, you can, it does not play physical discs though. 
So uh, it does not play physical disc, which is pretty awesome. But uh, how cool is that, though? It is really, really nice. Really like this console. Really good. All right, so let me just put all this away here. <laughs> I'll have to pack this up later. <laughs> but how cool is that? Look, so you've got your controller, and then you've also got your awesome console, which is pretty cool. So um, it's it's pretty much it's everything that you'd love in an Xbox One S. The only difference is is that it doesn't have a disc drive and does not play physical discs. Okay, it comes with a one terabyte hard drive, so you're able to install all your games and play them just like you would with a normal Xbox. So, um, if if I had the money, I'd buy one of these. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. It's it's really cool, and it's light as well too. Um, so literally, if you are a traveler, this is the perfect console for you to uh, travel anywhere with. But it's also great for the family because don't forget, you get Minecraft, you got Sea of Thieves, um, you've got Forza Horizon as well too, and uh, it's it's pretty awesome. So uh, it's a great little console. All right, let's put that away. All right, let's return to our scheduled programming <laughs> all right how awesome was that guys thank you so much i hope you uh enjoyed that unboxing yes so children cannot put four discs at once in it no <laughs> it's pretty awesome but uh it it's pretty awesome pretty good yeah so, uh, oh really Darren, wow. <laughs> so like I was saying guys, um, so the Xbox One. Alrighty guys, welcome back to, um, wow, I was about to say Unreal Talk. I'm Unreal Talk and I'm welcoming, welcoming you back to interactive studios where we showcase the latest and greatest games that are available at your local retailer now sea of thieves is one of those great games um, which is available it's also available on game pass or ultimate game pass that is up for grabs and it's at your local retailer so make sure you guys are checking it out it's an awesome awesome game and you guys will love it if you are a big fan of pirates you love um, sailing the open seas you love adventure you love treasure hunting riddle solving and just having fun with friends i promise you guys will enjoy this game we died i walked away and i forgot that i was just standing on an island and i was attacked by pi uh, sorry skeletons thank you fairy it's good to be back it was only a few minutes but uh <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to be back because we're going to find this treasure. Like, whatever it is we're trying to find, we're going to do it. Um, so, yeah, I left, came back, and I was like, wow, I'm on the Ferry of the Damned, my second home. Now, our boat sank, so I don't think we're going to be on the island that we were on. Oh, hopefully we are. I don't think so. No, we're not. Okay, so we need to go back. So we're actually doing a Tall Tales. Now, if you don't know what a Tall Tales is, they're basically story-driven um, adventures or voyages for you to embark on. They came with the anniversary update and they all lead. So they all give you bits and pieces of information and clues and they take you one step further to the shores of gold where there's treasure and just glory waiting for us. So we're going to try and make our way there. It will take time. You know, obviously you're not going to do it all in one go. I mean, if you if you do... Good on you, like, congratulations. They are quite tricky. They might take some time to do. But yes, so we're going to continue. You like the Fairy of the Dam. Do you know what? I do. There's no one trying to attack me on it. I love it. It's my second home. You know, whenever I'm, I'm tired of, you know, Sea of Thieves World, I'll just go to the Fairy of the Dam. Chill out there for a bit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This island looks awfully familiar. Okay. So we need to go to Plunder Valley. Now, what I figured out, or what I may have looked up, hmm, I guess we won't know, um, was that when we use our spy scope, we're actually looking for two items. So something of wood and iron, maybe the tools to save my soul from greedy fools. So we're looking for an item. It could be a weapon. It could be a cage. It could be anything with both wood and iron. 
and we have to actually place the two items into the eyes of the skeleton in this sky uh sorry spy scope <laughs> well you've got to think positively like that otherwise you know you won't really enjoy those parts of the game so yeah, I've kind of figured out what we need to do. We just need to get back to Plunder Valley and and embark on that journey. The captain scares me on that ship. He doesn't even have a name. He's just the ferryman. Poor guy. Okay, but I'm actually going to hunt some chicken. I think I hit this one. Come back. Where'd you go? They, they all ran away. I don't think this is the one I hit. It was, it was. Oh, got a chicken drumstick. We're going to cook it. Look, I'm hungry. We've got to eat. Did we get it? Where is it? Oh, it looks like I did. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's there. It's being seasoned in the sand. Alright, so we'll cook our food and and then what we'll do is we will go and look for that treasure. So yeah, this doesn't look like Plunder Valley. No, it's not. How beautiful are the islands when it's not storming? It's not raining. That's true, Asha. That is very true. Don't pay the ferryman until he gets you to the other side. I know, because it's chicken, it does take a little while to cook. Let's see, it's getting brown. Well, as always, furry, you are very helpful. So we're actually going to go back and uh, and do what we were saying. So yeah, I did read up on it. <laughs> Or maybe I just figured it out. Who knows? Uh, I know. That's for sure. So, yeah, I actually looked up and I saw that you need to place those items. So, the clue under the picture is really important. So, that'll give you an indication of what you're looking for. So, wood and iron. So, whether it's uh, a sword or a weapon. and Because it, it does say to save my soul from greedy fools. So, it maybe it's some weapon because, you know, someone greedy will want to kill you for your treasure or, or something like that so something like a, a sword or even possibly a cannon so we're going to have a look at that and we need to place the two items um they both could be wood and iron or one could be wood one could be iron into the eyes of the skeleton and where the x um that middle part of the x is where we need to dig so it wasn't it wasn't the painting real close though yeah asha we need to we need that energy, you know? N no, it, I figured it out on my own. <laughs> I needed a little bit of help. Let's go speak to this person over here. dog oh, have, you, have you seen my treasure uh -huh. mm. do come back soon okay let's go this island looks very familiar I'm trying to figure out which island it is I love that crunching noise On a pork chop. Is it Mermaid's Hideaway? Is that why it's so pretty? For someone that hasn't played in a while, Fury, or I think, is that what you said? You, you, your memory is spot on. Okay. 
Yeah, Mermaid's Hideaway. Alright, so Plan the Valley I know is not too far. It is here. But I just hope we don't cop any trouble on the way there. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going southeast. Let's get going. Such a pretty island. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it is such a nice island. I've never been. One day I'd love to just sail the seas. I could have no voyages and just go and visit every single island. You know, I think that'd be a really nice thing to do. Because every island is different, they're not all the same. So, you know, you really do have to appreciate the detail that's gone into creating these beautiful islands. Like, even the ones that are deadly, you know, they still have this beauty to them. Just the whole game. Like, the ocean, the beautiful ocean, it, it reflects like real life conditions. You know, it's not always flat, it's not always wavy, the, you know, there's always different, different weather changes, which I love because you're experiencing what it could be like to sail the sea in real life which i think is really cool like i don't have the need to go out and sail the open seas i can do it here in sea of thieves is that the island with the traps i'm not too sure the reason why we're actually doing the trap tall tales uh so if we check it out if we go reputation we are doing the art of the trickster so we're currently progressing through the, the, the book. Um, we haven't come across the traps yet. So we need to dig this thing up first. I think we're digging up some special thing. I'm not too sure what it is. Some item. We'll call it treasure. We're going to dig up this treasure first. And then I think after that, that's when we'll actually be directed to another island. Or it could be the same island where we're going to have lots of traps. Because this is the trap, the trap trickster. So we're in for it. Now I'm gonna make sure to park my my ship somewhere where there's no skeletons. Because we saw what they did. I mean, sorry, there's no cannons. Because this, this cannon, the skeletons, just started using a cannon to fire at my ship, and it sank. It is, hey. The trapping... No, the trap trickster. You know, when I when I whenever I do these tall tales, I forget about I forget about environmental factors, your PVEs, your your megs, your krakens. I mean, yeah, we encountered the kraken in the first two minutes of playing, but I completely forgot about the meg up until now. Got to keep an eye out for it. Alright, let's catch wind so we can move faster. The wind's always blowing in the opposite direction.
Okay, it's not too far. Almost there. Yeah. I did try that. Um, <laughs> someone told me that if you... So, the Mega Peers... Uh, sail towards an island and as soon as you see the name of the island pop up drop your anchor because they can't actually cross that point however the meg did cross that point and totally demolished my ship so i'm still trying to find a technique to kill it but that does sound pretty good just keep shooting with the cannonballs the thing is it depends how my ship is positioned if she's charging at me from the side i can possibly use the cannonballs to shoot at her when the mouth's open but I mean that's such a that's such a scary thing to see. This this big shark just charging at you like that. No, that's okay, that's okay. I I, I can see the message. But yeah, I need to figure out a way to do it. I haven't killed a Meg yet. I feel like I'm not a true pirate. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dock up where that sand is just there. Yeah, the reason why, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely needed. Alright, Plunder Valley, we are here. Oh, I didn't know there was a waterfall. Okay, I don't see any cannon, so we can't have any skeletons shoot at our ship. Now, I, I know that if you raise all, like your anchor, I'm um, sorry, you keep your anchor raised, just raise the sail all the way up and you keep the ship straight like this, it won't move, but I have anxiety that it will, so I'm going to pop, pop that down. And don't die. The time it takes to revive could be the time it takes to ship, for your ship to sink. Yeah. Alright, we're here. So... Let's have a look at where we are on the map. Okay. So we're on that side. Now if we have a look at the map here. So there's like three rocks. Okay. So... I'm pretty sure the mark that we need is here. Not there. There. That has to be it.
Okay. Yeah, the reason why I I do agree with you, I just have to uh, have to do it, not get scared. Every time I end up being like flung off the ship, I just run to the or well, not run, I swim to the next island. I get so scared, but it's it's just it's a virtual shark, so I got to suck it up and just face my fears. Alright, so I wasn't even paying attention what I'm just want to do. So that marker is where I want to go. So it's south of the island. Okay, south of the island. So what I will do is I'm actually going to load myself into the cannon. Thanks, Fury. Oh, we made it. We didn't make it. We almost made it. And now we're going to fall. Should I try that again? I am. Because I don't want to have to climb. I'd rather just uh, um, shoot myself up there. Let's try that again. So we just got to aim a little bit higher. I think that's a bit too high, but we'll figure it out. Woo! Look at us go. Oh, I think this is it. Oh, we almost went flying off. Thanks, Fury. Thanks for that tip, the reason why. I really appreciate that. Is there a higher point? No. So it's got to be here somewhere. Maybe it's, I think it's down here. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, now I gotta, now I have to try to get back up there. There's my uh, treasure that I left. Oh, of course. Where are you, my friend? Die! Gotcha. Alright, so we're going south. There's got to be here somewhere. See, it's so dark. Wooden iron may be the tools to save myself from greedy fools. Has to be the spot. 
But we know that there's there's other locations of that marker. We've seen three of them already. Okay, well she said wooden iron may be the tools to save myself from greedy fools. There's nothing really here that would save you or protect you from anything. Was there a cannon below? Oh, here it is. <gasps> Finally. Okay, we're in the right spot. Okay, oh, here we go. I know where it is. So, wooden iron. We can see there's a barrel and there's a cannon. So, if we put these two in that, here's where we dig. Finally. Finally, the mark. We found it. I knew, I knew the marker was there somewhere, so all these other ones were just tricking us. Finally found it. Okay, so what did we pick up? Oh, we got pages added to it. Awesome. Yes, so happy. So happy. Okay, now let's check it out. Okay, traps and treasure. I craft the first part of the deal and she provides the rest. The stone you seek leads only to broken bones and crushing ruin. Fair warning given. Very well, here it here is where it lies. So no wonder why there's other markers, because we need to go to different locations now. So the stone you seek leads only to broken bones and crushing ruin. Fair warning given. Uh, very well, here is where it lies. Okay. Ooh, I think I have an idea where this one is. And then look at the clue. Salvage and wood to batten down hatches. Closer now if if you point matches. So I'm going to go back to my ship. We can't eat this raw pork chop though. We've got to cook it. I'm pretty sure it's the one that might be up here. Yeah, I know the reason why that that's that's it there. So it's got to be up here. We've seen a marker up here. So we're kind of scaling. It's got to be here. Oh, it was a pig. It was like a button. A, a stone button. Oh, possibly up the top. There was one here. There's this one here, but I don't think. No, we can't see the ship, so it's not this one. It, I think it's further up. And it's to this side. So we're going to try to find a way up there. Hey, what's the clue? Could this be it? I'm just going to try my luck. Oh, no. You can't see the ship. Oh. I was right. <laughs> I was right. Didn't even have to go to the marker for this. So we've got another one. Okay. Woohoo. If you really do seek the stone, you'll need 
Oh, wait. No, there's pirates. I mean, there's no pirates. There's skeletons. Where are they? Oh, there's a few of them. No bananas for you. No. <laughs> That's too funny. Let's. We need to eat some food. So let's get rid of that for now. We'll eat a pomegranate. Yeah, you definitely should, Fury. They're actually so fun. Like once you finally, you know, put the pieces together, they're just you just feel great. It's a good experience. I'll take the mango and the pork. Sure, what else do I have? Okay. Okay, we don't want to cook the coconut. So if you really do seek the stone, you'll find the key to my workshop here on Plunder Valley. No, no, it won't take that long, Fury. If you find the key to my workshop here on Plunder Valley, through uh, though the door it opens lies elsewhere. Okay. How's our pork? Sailor's bounty key goes deep into caves where water sleep. Also, I left a surprise for you. For forgotten people we scour in search of an ancient burning power. Oh. Oh, that's almost burnt. Look at that. Nice and juicy. Okay. Let me have a look at that again. So it's, it's further up. I think I know where this one is. There's one there as well. I think it's that one. I mean, we know all those rocks there. That's where the fire... The fire is. So it has to be... Further up? Possibly? I mean, this is here. For forgotten people, we scour in search of an ancient burning power. Hmm. I don't know that. For forgotten people, long we scour in search of an ancient burning power. Power. So forgotten people, could that be bodies? <laughs> hmm. It does. Is that a cave? If you really do seek the stone, you'll find the key to my workshop here on Plunder Valley through the door. It op the Sailor's Bounty key goes deep into caves. Where water sleep. Also, I left a surprise for you. Hello, skeletons. Oh, just one. Oh, no, there's two. I like when they come out of the bushes. He's running away. Come back. I'll let him come to me. Is he going to come back and fight? Yep, there you are. 
Okay, let's go down. Ooh, I, I don't like climbing. I just like falling everywhere. Uh, Exo Mazzy, thank you so much for following. It is super appreciated. This one I feel like is going to be the hardest one to find. I'm actually going to go up and I want to locate those rocks. Those three rocks that you see and then there's like two in front of them on the side. And they kind of just walk straight and hope to find it. Or is it in the cave? starting to rain okay this is where we found the first one we were up the top here so we're kind of are the rocks there yep okay so we're here so maybe if we just keep going Gotta be there has to be a cave inside there. Let's go check it out. It's always rain, raining on Plunder Valley. <laughs> Now we're at this marker. I don't think he's the right marker. Of an ancient burning power. Let's go. This we gotta try uh, climb further up. Just sprinting away in the rain. right out of that marking.
Okay, well, it's not here. Is this that marking there? Could that be the one that we're looking at? I mean, where is... So I'm pretty sure the torch is up there. No! Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling that one is it. I'm going to go to it. I keep going back and forth. I do. But that's what that ga this game involves. You're going back and forth. Whoa! But we're okay. We're all good. Okay, I need to get up there first. Oh, but we can't see the... So it's not this one. It's got to be up there somewhere. I don't know. There's, if I look at the clue that's under the picture of an ancient burning power... That, I think, is this. So, this will be in the eyes. You live on... I know, I do. Hey, I do. I feel like, yeah, that will be something that we could look through the spyglass with. I don't know. I need help. Let's just go. I guess I'm going back to that side. We're going to look for a cave. I'm gonna try climbing from the other the other side. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I was in four. Oh, okay. That... I thought that was a person. Is there anything here? Oh, here we go. Okay. So, I have a feeling it's going to be here somewhere and then that's what we look look at. Of oh, an ancient burning power. Where's the glass? Well, we can't. I don't think we can dig anything up. I don't have the coloured flame. I don't think this is it. No.
is it? I don't think it's actually blue. I've never done that before, so I wouldn't know how to do it, but no, it doesn't work. I really want to find this marking. challenging for sure very challenging oh okay thank goodness I see something okay this has to be it but what do I see I see nothing in my path oh it's it's the parrot statue is that the cave entrance point No, but it's just the um it's just the parrot statue. Let's go back up. If I can. Come on, you can do it. Climb. No, not there. Come on. <laughs> How do I get back up now? Oh, we're getting there. We did it. Okay. I just need it to be to be clear. Oh, I kind of see something over there. Can you guys see it? It's like right there. Oh wait, I've lost it. Do they line up? They do. But is that it? I mean, we can try. Oh, don't tell me it was a pig right here. Oh, I was really hoping it was it. It just, it looked like it lined up perfectly. trying to figure this out guys I don't know it has to be here I need to stop raining because I cannot see anything Maybe I was digging too close. Oh, oh, earthworms. I got excited. No, I 
mind. That's enough holes. Alright, back to the drawing board we go. I need to find a cave. It needs to stop raining on this island. The earthworms and the grubs, they can't help it. Yes, the reason why, please. Just a little small hint. Oh, they always get me at the time I don't expect them. Okay, the items in the clue are drawings. So, Furry might be right. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think I know where to go. This side. Whoa, we almost fell there. <laughs> I need to try. Ah, uh, there's a trail. Okay, we'll follow the trail. We'll be civilized, and we won't jump off. For forgotten people, long we scout in search of an ancient of an ancient burning power. So there's a few drawings around here. So it's either, it's one of these ones. Some grubs. Oh, can you dig the skeleton head up? There's grubs there. Oh, there's actually another drawing over here. Because there's two points. There's one up here and there's one over there. Now it looks to me as though... The point that we're looking at is the one up here. Could 
would that be it? I mean, they're the only drawings that I see. There's nothing really behind. So I need to dig closer. Okay. So we're just dropping down. Earthworms! Maybe a little here. Why is it always earthworms? I was so sure it was here. Ancient people and fire. <laughs> okay, you're right. You're right. Uh, uh, maybe the bird scouring and the beetles provide an ancient fire. I don't know. They, you never know with Sea of Thieves. You really don't. Alright, so let's go. I do recall seeing paintings like that, but I I wouldn't remember where. Maybe potentially on this side. So happy that the weather cleared up. Oh, there's a rowboat. Okay, I know there's paintings along these walls here, and there is another uh, marker further up, which we're going to see now. Here, but I don't see any paintings. Besides the butterfly. There's the ones over there, but I don't know what that is. It looks like a hat or something. An eye, who knows. So it's not this one, maybe there's one up the top, above us. So we've got one marker here, one marker there. Maybe there's one further up. This tail is the tale of the trickster. The art of the trickster. Oh, they're definitely tricking us, that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Further up we go, follow the path, and you shall know. So you, pay, you play uh, CFD for long enough and you start rhyming. <laughs> That's what it does to you. Now we're back here, but I think this might have been another marker for another um, clue that someone else might have gotten, because they're not all the same. Everyone kind of gets different ones. Hey, Divine Wheel, how are you going? Oh, I see something. The parrot is definitely loved on this island. No wonder why he's here. Oh, I need help. So we know that part of the map is south. Okay, that there is the south part. So it's, if we have a look here, we're kind of facing the wrong way. I'm 
pretty sure it has to, there's got to be um oh we almost fell <laughs> look there's like one marker there which we've been on to there's that marker there could that be no that's not the marker i know there's one over here somewhere um oh, i don't know i don't know could that be no that's too close Okay, look, there, where are those rocks? I know they're behind here. Okay, they're behind there. That's where those rocks are. And then if we have a look, you can see those three rocks, which is just above the, like, in between the two palm trees over there. Uh, which means the marker should be here somewhere. Oh, uh, we've just got a few skeletons to deal with. I think I just figured it out. Is there a marker here? <gasps> no! Oh! Whoa! No falling today. No more falling. I'm, I, I'm on the verge of figuring this out. Thanks for the host divine wheel. I super appreciate it. So there's some paintings there of people. Okay, there, the, right there. Let's use this. And then there's like, I know there's uh, a fire painting there. So it's, it's here somewhere. I hope I'm right. I really do hope I'm right. The thing is, I want to find the marker so I can get a better view. That's a bit too far. Yeah, see, we can't see that. We can go back. I really hope I'm right. See, I can see the fire painting, but now I can't see the people painting. You see, the angle that you're looking at it, you'll be able to line the, the two up because the painting of the people is... Oh, I can't point to it, can I? No. Yeah. I think I'm right. I really do. I need to get these two lined up, so I need to come from like an angle over here. I can't see now. It's close enough. It really is. Where does that even lead us? Is somewhere there? This is definitely very hard. <laughs> hard for me, that's for sure. Oh, and we just, we'll just die for it. Just go for it. Okay. Look. See, people that may have been forgotten and, and of ancient burning power. And nothing. <laughs> Nothing in the ground. I'm on number three, I think. I think three. We found... Yeah, we found two pages already. So we're on, this is the third one. Oh, 
scrubs. We'll be like here. More grubs. Anyone want some grubs? I don't know where it is. We got a wood crate. Oh, there's another blue one. Let's take this back to our ship. Oh, I never realized there's there's a parrot rock right up there. That's actually really cool. All right, let's find my ship so I can take this treasure there. I might go to an outpost so I can actually get some coins. We haven't received any gold coins today. Oh, there's some skeletons just chilling there. do that you can do that for me fury <laughs> that's okay let's just get this back to our ship pretty sure I parked up on the north side of the island which means I have to go around I reckon if I bribe the parrot, he'll help me. <laughs> Where's my ship? As soon as I put the sword out, <laughs> the chickens run away. So we'll use this rowboat to just row around the island and try find my ship. Feeling it's that side. Yeah, there it is. I see it. I see the flag. Luckily for that flag. I 
But my clue was... Um, this, oh, I can't check it out. Wait till I get to my ship and we'll have a look. We'll have a look at it. That's the rain. That's me neglecting my ship. Bad idea. I was wondering what that noise was. Oh wait, I keep putting the water back in. Okay, right, it's all gone. I can't believe that. That's funny. That's too funny. Never leave your ship when it's raining because, as you've seen, it can fill up and sink and you'll come back and be like, where's my ship? Well, you know that it can happen now. Right, let's have a look. So, here's the map. Okay. It seems to me that the marker that I'm looking for is... Trying to map the pivot two photos together. At the same end where the seahorse looking pigs are, there is a barrel and ammo next to it. But if you look at my clue, it's a, it says for forgotten people, long we scour, score, I don't know how you pronounce that, in search of an ancient burning power. really hard trying to match these photos to that okay so I see that okay so what I'm trying to find Okay, I see the rocks. I see that. Don't die. <gasps> Don't die. Yeah, we haven't even hit the actual trap part of it yet. What pieces do I have? I have no pieces yet. All I have is just pages. So I'm up to page... What pages do I have? So I've had... I've had how many pages um so i've i've gone through i've had to dig up two bottles of pages and uh, now i'm on to the third one so i would say step three is where i'm up to and we're looking for that's the clue that i have for forgotten people long we scour in search of an ancient burning power I'm trying to figure this out Okay, so I see the rock that I'm supposed to... Okay, I see that. So it looks like it's before the next rock. So I have a feeling... Let's get rid of this one. I have a feeling it's... No, it's, it's there. Or... Maybe it's closer. Okay, 
No, I haven't done anything with the keg. Maybe I'm supposed to. Yeah, am I looking at the right... I think that's the spot. So now I have to get from where I am to that spot. i got to figure out where it is. That's why you said, oh, okay. Yeah, so I know you, you find like something, you know, I think that maybe the keg or a gunpowder barrel and it's about to blow up and you got to try make it back to your ship with the piece that you pick up. Oh, look. We made it to a marker. But... It, think this is the right one. It has to, it's he somewhere, I know it is. Whoa, that was not intended to happen. <laughs> Oh, oh, there it is. Look at that. No, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, finally, guys, finally. That's it. We've got it. Okay, I need to remember where my ship is. My ship's that way, so I have to run the route. Okay, we got it. I'm so excited. Here we go. Uh oh, quick, 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 quick. I'm trying to run as fast as I can. Where's my ship? Oh, there's a waterfall. <gasps> oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, let's go. We found it. We found it. I'm so happy. All that searching, finally we got it. Imagine, imagine, imagine the Meg just comes up and eats me. Nah, that's not going to happen. Well, thank you guys. I would not have done it without your help. So thank you so much. You know how much I do appreciate the continuous support. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so I don't know what we do from here though. Let's put this up the top. Pick up, pick up tra uh, trap maker's gunpowder key. Okay, so what happens now? What happens now? We've we found what we we're looking for. If you really, if you really do seek the stone, you'll find the key to my workshop here on Plunder Valley. Though the door it opens lies somewhere else. So we, where, how do we know where that door is? Sailor's bounty key goes deep into caves where water sleep. Also, I left a surprise for you. What? Is there another page? No, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I've got. Sailor's bounty key goes deep. I mean, I got the trap maker's key. Gunpowder key. Am I supposed to take it somewhere?
I've never been to that island before. Oh, far left. Here we go. Wow. It's quite far away. Oh, that's so far away. Is there a sanctuary near po uh sanctuary? Oh, sorry, is there an outpost nearby? That's on the way. Potential okay, golden sands outpost. Okay, I'll stop there, have a little breather, and then go. Because I do have those two gems that I'd like to cash in. Alright, so it looks like we're kinda going north. Alright, let's set sail. I've got half an hour to do this. Let's see how we go. Trident Cat and the reason why thank you guys so much. And you too, Fury. Alright. Wish me luck, please. No Megs. No other other pirates. Let me sail in peace. You know what? The good thing and exciting thing about Sea of Thieves is you, is you never know what to expect. I mean, at any moment we could be ambushed by another ship. We could... I knew it! I knew it! Oh. oh no. I knew it. What was I just saying? Where'd it go? Is it gonna attack me straight? Oh my goodness! Oh my, oh my. I know Fury, today's not my day. What happens if I put to the half fury? Okay, that did nothing. Stop moving. It's just it When is it gonna bite? I'm waiting for it to bite and I'm not even near an island. Okay. My heart's racing right now. Just leave me alone, Meg. It's not gonna it's gonna keep following us. It's warning me. Yeah, I know, I know. I thought maybe then it would like sail in the other direction. That way I'm behind it and it's not behind me. Just, just go for this island. You go, keep turning. Yeah, that's right. You sail away. It's it's stopped. It's not moving. I need it to despawn. Despawn, please. It's gone. Why does that always happen to me? <laughs> Every time. It's pretty funny though. What was I was literally just saying? Oh, I really hope I have, you know, peaceful seas. So every time I I talk about it, it's when the Meg just wants to appear. It's listening to me. I 
I know, I know the reason why. I had that before, like within the first five minutes of sailing, I had the Kraken appear. I was waiting for it to attack, but it was swimming really fast. They normally swim at that speed? Probably. Going to harass someone else. Oh no! No! Those skeletons, one thing after the other. Okay, I feel like we're gonna be alright. Oh no! <laughs> Why? Uh, missing. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna hit. There's two gonna hope for the best. Hey, you missed me. Okay, I see the outpost on the map and I see it there. Alright, so I'm just going to take the gems, we're going to get some coins, because we have not received any cash today, or any coins. So we'll go do that, at least we can fill our pockets up a bit. And then we'll continue with this uh, Tall Tales. Don't forget guys, Sea of Thieves is available at your local and favourite retailers. It's available in Game Pass and Ultimate Game Pass as well. So make sure you guys check them out if you like. We've got links in our description where uh, the game is available. Um, you can have a look there if you want. And don't forget to check out the awesome new Xbox. It's the Xbox One S and it's an all digital Xbox. So you, there's no CDs, um, everything, like games, you actually you know, have the digital uh, download of them online. You purchase them like that. It does come with Sea of Thieves, Minecraft, and Forza Horizon. So have a look at that. Again, links in our description that it is available at your favorite retailers. I would check it out. I mean, I was watching Jay unwrap it before, and it looks so awesome. So make sure you guys have a look at that. Okay, I'm trying to... I think all the tents... Is, oh, they're all on this side. Oh, I'm quite far away from the dock. Try to move a little closer. Peter Euros King, uh, thank you so much for following. Super appreciated. Awesome name. Oh, they're all on the other side. I know, I think it's all the water. Our boots are wet. The sound effects in this game are awesome, I love it. no way that sounds super intense like fi like finally defeating one and then having the other appear that's like my biggest feat in the game so like i'm either fighting the meg or i'm fighting the kraken and then the other one appears at the same time i don't know if that's possible though i don't know but i mean that would be that would just be horrific to see
Can I use a thousand? Yay! I'm going to take the other one to the Merchant Alliance just so I can bring up my reputation. So you want to aim to get three of your trading companies um, to reputation of 50. That way you actually become a pirate legend. Now I'm sitting between levels 10 and 20 for all three of the, the main ones. So you're looking at your um, Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls and the Merchant Alliance. So I, I have quite a long way to go but... You know, it's an awesome journey that you want to get on. And I'm really excited to see, you know, what access we get we grant, uh, we get given when we become a pirate legend. Because we know there's that door behind the mysterious stranger that I think you can access once you become a pirate legend. So yeah, that's pretty much what you're working towards in this game. You know, it, there's not one main goal. It's that, you know, you just grind out the hours. You have fun doing voyages, you know, doing these tall tales, fighting in the arena to increase your reputation for all of the merchant, oh, sorry, all of the trading companies. And by doing that, you're receiving gold. So with that gold, you can purchase cosmetics for your, your ship, as well as your person, your player. And I guess that's pretty much what you're working towards, you know, kind of showing off what type of pirate you are and just creating a more personalized experience. <laughs> that's funny, Fury. That's funny. All right, uh, I said I want to sell this to the Merchant Alliance. Yay! 43,000 coins. It's like the most I've ever had in one go. Yeah, I've only got like 20 minutes, so I'm just going to keep continuing with this Tall Tales. So in case I don't finish it, the next time I do attempt it, I know what to do. It doesn't take me too long to, uh, to do it. Wow. <laughs> Imagine that. All of like, you know, the main aspects in the game all in one go. That would be so intense. And then you come out victorious as well. That's a story that you'll, uh, you'll never get tired of telling. Okay. So we are just going pretty much, we're going north. I was sailing at night. Everything's more scary at night. Okay, I'm not going to jinx myself. <laughs> Alright. We're sailing in the right direction. Yeah, no more jinxing. No more jinxing, fingers crossed. I'm just gonna see I'm just sitting back. I'm relaxing. Pretty decent sailing going on. Gotta be careful we don't 
collide into an island. Okay, perfect. That's what I like to hear. No cracking. But there's still Megs. There's still Megs out there. So is that like do you classify that as an island? It's so small. And lucky for us, we're not sailing in the direction of the fort. Yes, yeah, speed bump. Hey, imagine going over that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to have time to completely finish this tall tale, but I'm curious to see where it goes. So then for next time, I have an idea and I'm not taking forever like I did locating all of those, uh, those digging spots. But yeah, even though it, the, the tall tail took me quite a while to figure out, it's, you know, once you do figure it out, you feel so good. You feel like you're a true pirate, you know, figuring, putting all the clues together. It's awesome. I love it. I love the experience. How beautiful is, you know, the morning, that sunrise. It's so nice. Yeah, I, I know I might have different clues next time because it's re it's good that they do that. So even though you might die or you might come back another time and reattempt it, it's not the same thing, but it's the it's the same concept. So it, you know I I know what to do. Whereas before, it took me a while to figure out what to do with with the spyglass. We're obviously going to get different clues, but at least we know what to do. We have to put two items or two paintings in the eyes of that spyglass, and uh, and then dig. So yeah, I don't think it'll take me as long next time. I think we are getting close. I haven't been to this island, so I'm really intrigued to see what it looks like. A lot of the islands in like the northwestern side of the whole map, I've never I haven't really been to. Only like Sanctuary Outpost, Boulder, Clay, Boulder Cave. Yeah, the reason why, I think that's really great that, you know, that, that the reason why it's constantly, it changes, you're not the same thing, is, yeah, because of that, and that's awesome. That would just like spoil your, your experience. Thank you, Fury. I really appreciate you saying that. Yeah, you know what? And even though we've uh, we've had quite a lot to handle today, I've had an awesome time. I can walk away and just laugh at the experience that I've had. And that's what's great about this game is, yeah, even if you do die from a Kraken or from a Meg, you know, you take that experience away with you and, and you either laugh or you learn from it. So next time it does happen, you know what to do. Very foggy. And it's, it's even better that I have such great support from you guys. Okay, I think 
This is it. Okay, so I've got to pay attention now. I don't want to sail into the island. <laughs> We've copped out nearly everything tonight. It's like, where's the island? I don't see it. I'm really confused. I know, I know, but I'm sure I'll be able to see it quick enough to, to pull the anchor down. It should be here. Okay, it's to the left of us. We're going to turn into it. Now we're going around it. Like, let me sail into it. Okay. Oh, there's going to be a piece of island here somewhere. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. I didn't see one um, sailing me by us though, that was quite far. My ship's quite far away, but let's just go have a look, because like I said, I'm only got like 8 minutes now, so let's just go have a look at the island. Because I've never been here, so I'm really intrigued. Oh, there's a rowboat. that oh there's a gem is it no that's the same rowboat it could have been another thousand coins in my pocket Here we go. So foggy. Is it normally this foggy or is it just the fog? Oh, I'm supposed to bring the cake. Ooh, oopsies. Okay. 
I have six minutes. I'll go back and get it. Is this where you come down? Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 Note to self, don't step on those. Okay, let's quickly go get the keg. Now, question is, how do we get out of here? Chickens, help me fly! Show me a way out. Oh, here. Oh, he's got a sword, it's okay. Not today. I know. <laughs> How good was that? So I'm guessing I have to take the keg all the way through that. Ninja talk. I know. Okay, my ship is here somewhere. There it is. Climb, climb, climb. Let's get this coin. This gold. No, it doesn't rhyme. It doesn't rhyme. Alright, we're going to grab this uh, barrel. No! Uh, ow! That always happens. I just, you know what? I just fall everywhere. That's me. I'm that pirate. I <laughs> I know the reason why. It's this this fog. It was so hard to uh, to actually find the island. So as soon as I saw a bit of violence, I'm like, I'm just going to park here. That's pretty good. Fury, that's pretty good. Climb, climb, climb. Let's grab this keg for the last time. That's good, actually. That's really good. Now, I really hope skeletons just don't mess with me today. We've had enough. Leave me alone. Let me take this keg. We'll take it through the traps. Where's the rest of the islands? Over there. So you have to don't stab it when you drop to drop it to fight. Okay, I will take note of that. My keg. So I'm going to have to jump over those, those, um, the traps. Oh, well, we're just going to do it. Yep. Now to find the doorway. It's so hard to see. No jumping needed, just timing, okay? Oh, they're going off. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that felt really close. Okay. This one's really fast. Oh no! No! What a way to end the stream. You know, I knew I timed that one wrong. I knew it. I knew it. So I wonder if the keg's still there. I guess we won't know. We don't know. We won't know. 
Hey, at, at least we're finishing off with our favorite friend. The fairy man. He's the only one in this game that hasn't attacked us. Besides everyone at, at the outpost, but still. He's our friend. Oh, I guess I'll have to tackle that next time. The spike got you, yeah. That one, that was the fastest moving one out of all the ones that we had been through already. That was the fastest. I think I needed to go as close as I could before actually um, going through it. But yeah. Well, next time, we at least we, we know the process of this tale. Uh, we might get different clues or different um, hints next time. However, we, we, know, we know pretty much what to do. Um, so we know like the steps. Yeah, at least I got sent to my ship. I, I could go back, but I don't have enough time to do so. Uh, so that leaves me to say goodbye. Uh, thank you to everyone who, uh, like the reason why, Kian Fury, thank you so much. Okay, I don't know if I said that right. I probably didn't. But thank you guys so much. The continuous support is always, always appreciated. Make sure you guys are checking out your local and favorite retailers as Sea of Thieves is available and if you want to check out game pass as well ultimate game pass is also there for you uh see if these is available through that so make sure you guys check out we have links in our description where game pass is available uh see if these is available and also the xbox one x it's the all digital edition so pretty much Every game that you would play is a digital um, digital content. There's no CDs. You don't have to worry about you know buying a CD and then scratching it or putting two CDs in the drive. Don't have to worry about that. All the games are on the actual Xbox. It does come with the Sea of Thieves game, uh, Forza Horizon, Minecraft, and then any game that you would want, you can actually um, download it from from online, which I think is so great. You don't have to worry about buying CDs, which I think is a step towards the future pretty much but as i mentioned that as well as sea of thieves and game pass and ultimate game pass is available at your local retailers and there's links in our description for you guys to check it out yeah do you know what i might do that next time the reason why i might do that yeah practice makes perfect as i always say so thank you again have an awesome night and uh, do stay tuned as we ryan will be in tomorrow to uh, showcase some great content for you guys over the weekend have an awesome weekend and thank you see you guys next time see you next week actually what are we playing next week we're looking at we've got some PUBG next week so it's going to be super exciting i'll see you guys then